You don't get more magic than Disney, but there is one bit of its past it just can't magic away. Song of the South is seen even today, even as it was then, as racially offensive. By 1946 standards, Song of the South was a hit movie. By today's standards, it is racist, offensive and out of touch. Disney has chosen across the board to basically just suppress the film. Which means when Disney launches its streaming service, Disney Plus, in November, Song of the South will officially not be there. Are you glad about this? Well, I'm not glad or sad about it. I think when Disney made a decision to pull Song of the South, at least not included in the catalog, I think Disney understood one thing. It's bad for the image, it's bad for business, and quite frankly, I think in that sense, Disney did the right thing. You know what you was doing. <laughs> Song of the South is a live-action musical with animated characters. It was set in the period following the end of the Civil War and the abolition of slavery. The movie gave actor James Baskett an honorary Oscar. It gave Disney one of its most recognisable songs. And a major headache that has lasted to this day. Even then... I can't emphasize this enough strongly enough. There were protests. Fact is, Song of the South has never actually been released on DVD or even VHS in the United States. Disney boss Bob Iger said it wouldn't necessarily sit right or feel right to a number of people today. Remember, though, Disney has been around for generations. It was making movies when times were very different. Song of the South is only part of the story here. They do have to contend with the fact that for a century-old company, they were uh, part of the problem for a long time. Scenes like this, perhaps, from 1940s Fantasia. Disney completely removed the subordinate black centaur character from the movie in the 1960s. The opening track of 1992's Aladdin contained the words... Where they cut off your ear if they don't like your face. That was gone by the time the movie hit video release. And even now, change is still afoot. The black Jim Crow character in 1941's Dumbo is being taken out ahead of the Disney Plus launch. We are Siamese, if you please. And the Siamese cats and this song from Lady and the Tramp being replaced for Disney's upcoming live-action remake. How much pressure is there on Disney and other big studios? to make sure that they are projecting the right message. How much influence they're having on, on the youngsters who are watching these films? There is not a more scrutinized company in entertainment in the world than Disney. I mean, Disney is the sort of gold standard. It's the characters that everyone around the world loves and grew up with. Some will regret Disney's decision. The backers of this petition, for example, launched to convince the studio to release Song of the South in the US. But for Disney, this movie now belongs in the past, and it's going to stay there. Phil Lavelle, CGTN, Los Angeles.